guys welcome back to my channel and today we are going to learn about divisibility so as you what we have done divisibility many times of different different numbers so today the numbers are 12 15 and 18 okay let's start with the first number that is divisibility by 12 so the how to do the divisibility by 12 is a very simple trick but for that you need to know about the divisibility of 3 and 4 so let us see how we have to do this now first of all you have to find the divisibility of 12 right so for this 12 what you have to do is that 12 is, means 12 is equal to what it is also 3 into 4 right so 12 is same as 3 multiplied by 4 so the same thing we have to apply here that you have to divide this 12 by 3 and 4, okay? Now, whenever a number comes in front of you and you have to check the divisibility of by 12, you have to first check the number that it is divisible by 3 or 4, okay? So, let us see what is the criteria for divisibility of 3. So, the criteria of divisibility of 3 is that it should add up to 3 or it should be a multiple of 3. And for 4, it is that the last two digits, the last two digits should be a multiple, right? Last two digits should be multiple of 4. So, if both this criteria are fit for a number, then only it is divisible by 12. So, let's take first example. I have taken a random number that is 96. As you all know that 96 is divisible by 12 because it comes in the table of 12, right? But we have to check with the rule. So what is the first rule of 96 you have to check is that it should be a multiple of 3, right? So 96, how to check that? We have to do 9 plus 6 is equals to 15 and 15 comes in the table of 3 means this criteria of 3, it is success. And the next one it is, it should be the last two digits should be a multiple of 4. And here it's two digit number. So, you have to check whether 96 comes in 4 stable. And it's come in 4 stable, right? So, means this is also fulfilled. So, that if both the criteria are fulfilled, it means that number is divisible by 12. Okay. So, let's take a bigger number. I have taken a little bit bigger number. That is 3456. 3, that is 3456. Okay. So let us say if this is divisible by 12 because it doesn't come, it comes in table of 12 and not, we have to check this. So what is the first rule that we have to check is, is it divisible by 3, right? So for that, the see it is divisible by 3 or not. So 3 plus 4, it is 7. 7 plus 5, 12 and 12 plus 6, it is 18. And for 18, 1 plus 8, it is 9. So this means that it is divisible by 3. This number is divisible by 3 because when we add this, the answer is 9. Okay. Now, the next one that is, is it divisible by 4? Now, how to check if 56 comes in the table of 4? And it is because 14 4s are 56. Yes. So, this is also fulfilled. That means this number is also divisible by 12. Is it easy? Let's see what is about divisibility by 15. Okay, so how have we have done 12? The same trick is applied in 15 also. How? Because 15 is equal to 3 multiplied by 5. Right, 3 5 is 15. So the same way we have to do means 3 and 5. So I hope you know the criteria here that the number should be divisible by 3 and 5. If it is divisible, then number is divisible by 15. Okay, so if let us see if 3 it is divisible by 3 and 5. Now, how to check it is divisible by 3? So, it should add up to 3. I told you in the last example also, right? And 5, 5 it is, the number should end with 0 or 5. Yes? So, let us take some examples of this divisibility by 15. So, let us take the first example that is 105, okay? So, what is the first criteria that it should be divisible by 3? And the next one it should be divisible by 5. Okay, so for 3 it is 1 plus 5, right? Because 0 doesn't mean anything. So it is 6 and 3 2s are it is 6. So means it is fulfilled. And the next one it is 5. And the number is ending with 5, right? So this is also true. Means the number is divisible by 15. Now, the next one it is little bit bigger than the previous one. 
it is 1095 so let us see if it is if it will find 3 so that is 1 plus 9 10 and 10 plus 0 is 10 and 10 plus 5 it is 15 which is divisible and for 5 it is again the numbers of 5 only so this is divisible means this both the numbers are divisible by 15 and if you do the division the long division it would take much more time so i prefer you to do use this method for divisible of so divisibility by 18 so the same as we did in the last two sums the same only because here also 18 is equals to 2 multiplied by 9 right see we have to see and if the number can be split by two numbers, means 18 can be split by 2 into 9. Yes. So now let us see how to do 2 and 9. And you know this criteria, right? 2, or 2 and 9 because they are very simple ones. 2 means what? It should be an even number. The number should be even, right? And for 9 it is that number should be add up to 9. Or add by a multiple of 9. No need to take tension. So now, this can also be stated as a number, an even number which is divisible by 9. It's also divisible by 18. Okay, so let's see the example. See the both of the examples, okay. So for 180, it is directly divisible by 18 by 10, right? But we have to check it. So first it is 2 and the next one it is 9. So for 2, the number ends with 0, means it is even number. And for 9... 1 plus 8, it is 9. So, this is also true. Now, for the next one, that is 2862. That is a very big number. So, let us see if we can do it. So, for 2 and for 9. So, for 2, the last number ends with 2. So, it is divisible by 2. And for 9, you have to check if all the sums add with 9. So, it is 2 plus 8, that is 10. 10 plus 6, 16 and 16 plus 2, it is 18 and 18, 9, 2 is 18. So, this is also divisible, right? So, means that all, both the numbers are divisible by 18. So, you are amending my video. If you like it, then please like and subscribe my channel. Thank you.